This is a film about Palermo on Sunday. It is made on Monday morning in our apartment above the Mercato di Capo and you may hear some sounds of the market below. In the morning when we went out we first took a walk through the market and then came back through it where we began taking photos. We'll let the photos speak for themselves today but you'll see that we go through the market and then we go out into some open areas. You'll see what a beautiful takeaway pizza we bought for lunch. You'll see children dressed up on Sunday, but also not just Sunday. Oh, look at that beautiful portrait on the wall there. Another one. You'll see children dressed up not simply because it's Sunday, but because this is the middle of Carnevale. We are in Italy. Carnevale literally means goodbye to meat. It is the end of the winter period of food shortage. It is also the period immediately preceding Lent with its abstinences. So this is a period of uh, when, we, when you look at the children when we get to that point, they don't look as though they've been missing a lot of meat or are likely to miss a lot of meat in terms of their affluence. Here we see a goat from head to foot. Anyway, let the pictures tell their own story as we go through the market, as we see affluence and happiness out on the Sunday, including a bunch of cheerful dogs. They were nice dogs. But also, uh, as the camera comes back towards home, a run through a poorer area of town. This was an astonishing church inside. wild swinging of a knife to trim those broccoli. More of the fish, more of the, I beg your pardon, artichokes. Here we found a little bookshop around the corner with a bunch of remarkable uh, little things on the outside, some amazing older books inside the store. The strange death of Mr. Benson. And inside with the charming proprietor was his charming friend, mascot. Here is the pizza that we've got bought, take away ham and mushroom. Here we are in a public park with the Garibaldi Theatre. Which is in a city apartment, a glorious open space for families on Sunday and especially for people on roller skates. with dogs. Here we proceed down the course of Ruggiero Settimo, Roger the Seventh Street, from the middle of the 1800s, shortly before the unification of Italy. And you see the children dressed up for Carnevale. As well as parents dressed up, of course, too. It is a stylish town. 
it's uh, it has some qualities a bit like Sydney in terms of being that much more energized than say Syracuse which was a very restrained environment also the weather in Palermo today or yesterday was very much more like a Sydney or, uh, winter day than say uh, a day uh, there's confetti on the ground there that was what that was about uh, a winter day in more like a Sydney winter day than, than elsewhere this particular dress with its price tag here is two and a half thousand Australian dollars hand stitched this is just another little interesting window kitchen items here we were thinking of something we could uh, not copy but how what one could do with the hebel block in the garden coming back to the theater of garibaldi there's that boy he's now up on his skates his dad's looking much less worried and here is the most bedraggled but exhausted-looking uh, dog we just saw a moment ago. And we'll return to him as the most remarkable woman turns up as we sit here to feed him. He, in his utter exhaustion, would seem not interested in eating anything. She comments that he eats too much and yet she leaves him more. Half past eight and the church bells are ringing. There, were fine, there was some fine dining within those plants yesterday. Here's Helen admiring Elena Mira. And this is the Bank of Sicily. I think I put this up simply to record its period architecture. It's a period architecture there too. So now arrived at another theatre with an opera and ballet program. This woman of African dress is just extraordinarily beautiful. A number of horses had ear warmers. to arrive at this particular theatre. There is Giuseppe Verdi in the monument. It's, these are places where Giuseppe Verdi would have been often enough. Along with many tourists, we found ourselves arriving here along with the red tourist bus. family photography taking place here. Some advice from the son while the dad gets his hat right. And now we're eventually getting it right, I think. Here we go into the laneways leading back to our own market area. the washing is out, but also there's a great deal of shading with uh, plastic cloths there. And so we come to the end of our film here with a beautifully dressed South Asian woman. <laughs>